Silage time. This is gonna kind of square away all the crop stuff we need to do besides fertilizing, but it's called a crescendo. Get done with harvest yesterday and chop We're silage still today. That's a harvest. Well, corn and beans. Crescendo, I tell you. I see your your pot, your plant pot is growing again. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We're starting the new plant. We can produce two two viable plants per season. That corn over there. Are you excited? This is where we calve at. We plant this to sorghum pretty much every year, 17 acres, and we chop that. One thing that's fun about silage is there's always a bunch of raccoons in there, so that last pass gets pretty fun. Last year when they were chopping, they hit a skunk. Didn't smell good. A couple of those corn stock bales we made two weeks ago are going to Jeff's place. So he's here airing up a tire. Gonna haul some corn stock bales. All kinds of doing. Pretty fancy looking stuff. Yeah, it smells like plants. If you didn't see that video, there's already silage in here. That's corn silage. It was dry and we cut it almost a month ago already. Our sorghum wasn't ready, so we had to wait a few weeks. And we're just putting that right on top and the juices will soak down into that corn silage and it's gonna be real fancy. After they get a few loads in there, we'll start packing with the four-wheel drive. Got to get her unhooked. That stuff smells good. Pretty pleased with getting this done today because we're supposed to get a rain at like 2 or 3 p.m. today. And then on Wednesday, today's Saturday, on Wednesday we might get over an inch, which is quite a bit of rain. We're going to slap this in the shed so it doesn't get rained on. It's all cleaned up and then dust collects on it. Over the next week, I got a lot of stuff to clean off, get ready for winter, basically. Combine we're done with, grain cart, gotta unhook the mister. We gotta fertilize, we gotta wean, we gotta move cows to corn stalks, fence, new fence, fixed fence. Honestly, now that harvest is over, I feel more busy. And actually, there's some of the mister right now. Cattle are up eating, so I might as well spray them down. There are flies on them.
stuff's kind of heavy. Dad's having a hard time getting up there, pushing it. The more we pack it, the better surface he's got to drive. Camping. Yeah, I could, uh, you know, I was lollygagging, flying the drone, and I was like, that guy is not keeping up good. <laughs> I, well, I'll tell you what the biggest issue is, is that truck that just left. Yeah. The hoist is so slow that oh, I yeah. spend, I mean, half of my free time is spent watching him raise the board. I, I see. I went to high school with him, I might have to choose it. <laughs> it's my friend, Potential. Mm. Mr. S Mr. Spam, how are you? I thought you were going to answer it. That's an odd name, potential. Must be Italian. <laughs> i tell you what, this is unpleasant riding with you up and down here. <laughs> you got it wide open, all bouncy and jumpy and clutchy. And Mom was in, I had a bigger tractor and dozer one time, but it was, it was getting high and she didn't like it much. Mm. Well, get out then. That's the next chance I get, I'm getting out. I tell you what, them trucks just keep coming. It goes a lot faster when the haul is about 500 feet. That's one of the reasons, other than these guys are local, that we really like them. They got a, you know, they don't have one of those brand spanky new 900 horse Lieber engines from a mining machine. So we can almost keep up with them. Because it's very important to get it spread well and packed get all that oxygen out so the stuff stays in good condition throughout the season and it would definitely help having a big dozer blade on the front of this or maybe the 8r that thing would probably cost forty thousand dollars and we use it like less than seven days out of the year whereas that dozer right there costs four hundred dollar at a farm sale. Oh lord, there's another one coming. Just one after another. Here's my niece. It's slappy time. That stuff is turning out amazing. Can't believe how many loads are coming off that. And it looks like we're almost done, but then you look over there and they cut the field in half. We're working around this spot and there's there's a bunch left yet. All of this to feed the girls. They, they look well fed. the wall a little bit. See if we can't get ourselves a raccoon. Right in there. Oh, they're running out the back end already. There's like seven of them in there. So we got through that 17 acres in the back and now we got this like probably three acres back here last year we only got about four loads out of here so won't be much longer we'll be done
those raccoons have been living in that white building out there that we cab in. Just ripping insulation and siding and planks and chewing through stuff. We ended up getting three of them. There was about, there was about seven. I only had like five rounds of my gun and I, those big burly coons, they can, they could take one or two shots. This is starting to look like something, huh? There's the last load. He fudged it. He got too deep. Got too deep and he fudged it. That's a good day. Being done by 12. Eat lunch. So that should feed our cattle for a good year. I don't think we had this much in the pit last year and we made it to about April or May. But that's done, crops in the bins, silage is in the pit, we're ready for winter. Not that I want it to come soon, but we're just ready. I'm thinking chicken, what are you thinking? Okay. Chicken. Why are you putting that on me? <laughs> Get off me, man. It's a good day. So harvest is complete. What are we gonna work on next? Got a bunch of corn stalk bales to haul. Weaning, okay. fertilizing, fencing, cleaning. Cleaning what? Tractors. No, oh, I don't do that. Aren't you lucky? Yeah. I gotta take I'll all the it. all them chip bags and pop cans at all the tractors that dead, find their way in, but don't find their way out. Not uh, on their own. I cleaned the combine out yesterday. And speaking of that, Jeff Arino just brought me a load of cornstalk bales. He hauled his and he said he'd bring me a load home when he got done. Good deal. So I guess I know what I'll be doing this afternoon. All right. What are you going to do? Nothing. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. She's coming, isn't she? She's Have a good one. Over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>